Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring, and you've decided it's time to progress Selen's quest. Now Moishi appears, or at least her form appears in several places. The place that you want to come to first is the Waypoint Ruins. Don't worry, we'll get to the rest of them as we progress the questline, but for now, you want to beat the pumpkin guy that would be usually here. It's not a part of the questline for me specifically, but right now, we're going to want to go in here and talk to Selen. Are we? I wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? We want to learn sorcery. Ah, a yen for glimstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. With a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Of course we do. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glimstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Nah, it's going to be fine. Now, you'll see that I already have Show Azir's sorcery here. So that is going to be how we progress. A quest line. Now, uh, you can get a prompt from her for this by progressing Silivus's quest line, which is a different NPC within the game. So, if you wish to, you could go and um, speak to Silivus now, who is over in this tower just here. But to get there, you are going to need to defeat Loretta. You would usually be here, and for him to entertain talking to you, you're going to need to talk to Rani, who would be over in Rani's rise. And then you'll be forced to speak to him here before you can leave, uh, and then you can come round here to get the letter of introduction from Celevis. With that item in your inventory, she will instruct you to collect the Azur's Comet spell, or you can just shortcut all of that and bring it directly to her. Uh, the location of that item is over near the Volcano Mansion. I've already done a video for the location of this, but it's right at this site of Lost Grace here. It's a fairly long path. You'll need to start from Seathwater, curl around in a big, massive, like, snail-like shape here, all the way around to where you'll find the Sorcerer, and he'll hand you over the spell. Which we're gonna do now. You are a tadpole, so now. So we'll show her the sorcery. What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding Glimstone sorcerer, and my first teacher. A stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. So now, we want to talk to her a little bit more, because she should give us a key. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want Glimstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Let us take the journey. Splendid. Although we don't actually go anywhere. I thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding Glimstone sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this Glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. I need him to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars. Such is his body now. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home. A place called Celia in the eastern Caled Wilds. Thinking about it. I obtained the Glimstone key I gave you from a Selian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. 
And that's all the clue that we are going to get for now. Lusat is in a dungeon. I'll give you guys a quick glimpse as to where that is over in Caled. It's just here, Celia Hideaway. Again, linked in the pinned comment will be a video on exactly how to find and open up Celia Hideaway. But I'm going to go and grab the spell so that we can come back and simply continue her questline just to make this a little quicker. Okay, so with the Stars of Ruin um, spell in your inventory, after you've gotten it from the Celia Hideaway, we can now take it back to Celia so that we can continue her questline. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lap? Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice and a kindred spirit. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please take it. This brings us a full step closer. The bodies of Masters, Azure and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. Now, I'm not sure if she's going to ask us to go see her just yet. Uh, her questline can't really uh, progress until after we've defeated um, Radan, which is where kind of a, a lot of quests seem to get held up by Radan specifically, because basically she's going to want us to go and visit her actual body, which is in this little ruin just here. Now, obviously, we're going to detail the rest of that in the video. So if you haven't already, go and defeat Radan, and then we can continue with Celia's questline. Okay then, so with Radon now defeated, we can speak to Celia again. Is it Celia or Celia? I can't remember her name now. It's the same I to me. A... Um, we can say about the request. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere, but the Academy shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the lands between, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika past the plain of the wandering mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. So, we're gonna head down there now. This is, as you said, in the Weeping Peninsula. It's actually just here. Uh, I find it easiest to come here from the uh, isolated merchant's shack, so we'll do that. And as you can see, uh, it's a fairly short ride, and here we are over at the swamp. Uh, try to stay mounted as you're going in. Ignore this, um, I don't know what it's supposed to be, some kind of defensive mechanism on the way in. We're just going to go straight down. I'm going to bring the map here. And clusters in combat. It's really co I can't even show you on the map kind of exactly where we are. Um, but here we have the uh, Celia's body. Coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glinstone. A star has fallen and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life, and so I entrust it with you, myself. Do you mind leaving me alone? So, we have Celia's Blood Magician. Could you please not? Because this could actually mess the quest line up. For all that I know. But let's, let's quit out of this because that's just silly. Okay, so. I don't know if we can attack her or if one of these kill her or anything like this messes up the quest line. What I know is we're supposed to have the Witch Hunter killer. So, if something follows you down here, quit out and reload it. Because that's just going to mess things up. Once we've got the Primal Glintstone from her, what we need to do is we need to go back to Redmain Castle. And we need to speak to the guy that was hold it, hosting the games. So back to the uh, chamber outside of the plaza, Grace is going to be a good idea. And then we can speak to this boy to progress his quest line. At last, the war festival has ended. Brave champion, you have our gratitude. The celebration was spectacular. General Radan is surely pleased. Festering with rot and crippled by madness, all he wanted was an honourable death. So, once we've done this, we'll know that we've done what we need to do, because when we re fast travel back to here, uh, there'll be a boss fight available, and the entire place will have been reset. Let's just double check. There we go. You guys can deal with that if you wish to. Uh, all of the doors here will be open if you haven't already done this area. And now what we're waiting for is a sign that says Celia's body has been killed. Now, this last happened to me when I fast travelled 
to the round table holds. Let's see if we can get it to happen again. Yeah, here we go. Bram Glingstone shudders. It seems Helen's body has died. If we go back to here, we'll actually see the witch hunter guy is in here. So we can go and do that if we wish to. Let's go and, go and speak to him to get all of this. Okay, so here we are back in Selen's cell. And here we have our boyo. Ah, well, I hardly expected to see the champion of the festival here, of all places. You didn't know Selen, did you? Well, whatever the case, she's dead now. Just put it behind you. <laughs> so you think. The graven witch, obsessed by the primeval current, countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history of Rhea Lacaria's academy. Cool. Now that we know that about her, we can actually go and put her uh, soul in her new body. Uh, if you guys have been following Celevis's questline, you'll know that we have a, uh, a puppet that we can go get from here. So, I'm going to fast travel to uh, Royal Moongazing Grounds, which is where we're going to be picking up from. Okay, so we'll pick up from just outside of the room here, just in case you don't know exactly where it is that we're going. Um, but I have it pretty much marked on the map already. So we're just going to move over this way. And we will be able, hopefully anyway, to see... And ruin. Now, you'll know the ruin because we'll probably get shot at by a little hidden um, guard, I guess you'd say. But he kind of just makes the area obvious. Where is he? You can hear him. Anywho. Oh, there you are. Uh, these steps here won't usually be here, so either do a jumping attack on it, um, or do a roll on it, and that's going to reveal the illusory ground for you. You're going to want to come on in here. Um, and because I've always been already been doing Celebus's quest line, I can already seal this. Interact with this if you wish to. Uh, there'll be another wall that you'll need to hit. I think it's like about here actually. Um, and that'll reveal all of this, and we can see uh, Celebus is going to go in there. Celia is going to go in there. Sorry, not very. Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again, and it's truly a gem, young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current, my dear apprentice. I owe this all to you. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. Now then, if we uh, reload the area, she should leave. So let's just double check that that happens. And as we can see, she's gone and left us a note. Now, what we can do is we can actually go back to uh, Renala's room. So if you guys haven't done the academy yet, you must, I would assume that most people must have done by this point. But uh, Renala's boss room here, you will need to have defeated her for this to, to kind of all work. We're just going to head on over to her room now where we should find Celia. Okay, so once you've made your way over to the boss room, what you'll see is out front we have two signs we can use. And depending on the kind of character you are, it will probably dictate which one is better for you. One on the right is invading Sorcerer Selen. I believe we get joined by the Witch Hunter. And if we succeed, we'll be rewarded with an ancient dragon smithing stone and a couple of other bits and bobs. Or you can invade on the side of Selen and help her against the Witch Hunter. And then you'll be rewarded with... You'll be able to return her as a shop. She will get a new spell, the uh, Shard Spiral spell, which as a sorcerer uh, is particularly good, against, especially against dragons. Uh, a lot of people really liked how strong that was during the walkthrough. In addition, if you help her out and then go and see uh, the two sorcerers that we went and visited, Lusat and Azur, um, you'll actually get their armor sets as well. And because I've done this one before, we are going to go ahead and help out Mr. Witch Hunter here. Ooh, excuse me. Can't you kind of strong? Not strong enough there. Cool, here we have Selen's Bell Bearing and her Glintstone Crown. Now, if you helped her, she'll turn into one of the weird looking wizard balls over this way. Um, and that's where you'll get all of her spells from now on. We should have Witch Hunter Boy. Where is he? Yeah, just out front. My thanks 
for the aid given. I heard from Eiji that Lady Rani might have found herself a champion. But I didn't know he was talking about you. You've helped me fulfill an old promise. This is the least I can do for you. Please, take it. Cool. So that's going to be the end of uh, Celia's questline. Um, like I said, I don't think I don't feel like I need to show you guys kind of the, the the sorcerer remains to get the armor sets. If you if you happen to choose the other side, obviously you'll come round to places that you've already been to. For example, the uh, primeval sorcerer um, and Celia's hideaway. That closes out the uh, the quest guide. Hope this guys hope this helps you out, and I'll see you all in the next video.